Yeah. All right then, so here we have Sinity versus Foxy Lady on Stormkeep. First off, Foxy Lady going to get the Mega and the Vortex. Decent position here, running around the map. Looks like Sinity is also going to get a few guns, get a bit of armor. And they're both going to have pretty good stacks for the first fight. Coming up quite close on second spawns now. So it could be a first fight after the second spawns, but no, there we go. First fight. Nice rail there. And a bit more damage. Insanity now dropping behind. Both going for that mega armor and knock straight into it, but first blood from Foxy Lady on Sinity. And able to pick up the mega. That 50 armor down there's ready. Being careful though. And there we go. The blaster coming in very useful. Doesn't quite get into the right position. And taken out. 2-0 to Foxy Lady. Now. Can Sinity bring this back? Got a decent position on this Mega. There it is. But very low health and there goes down. Going to lose that Mega Armor as well. The health now pretty low though. So Foxy Lady is going to need to stay out of fights until the next major items come up. And Sinity has a chance here. Needs to possibly get that 50. It should be up at the moment. And looks also like they need a bit of weaponry. Mega now. Foxy Lady seems to have the perfect timings. And very good positioning. Aim absolutely on point. There we go. Just check that's on. There we go. Sinity now running around the back, trying to get back into this game, but getting caught out by Foxy Lady at every single corner. Bit of a damage, self damage with that grenade launcher. And there it goes. Sinity still with the timings on every item here. That's a key point. Knows the timings on all of the major items. Should know that one. Should have heard it. Now it's just coming down to a few bad spawns. That's picked up the lead to 7-0. Off a few bad spawns and the inability to actually get anything. Due to losing a bit of health off the spawn and then you're really done right there. Very good stack from Foxy Lady. Keeping him way in the lead here. And keeping the ability to do a bit of damage, just a nick of damage. Keep doing some nicks of damage, knowing they're in the lead. Knowing you're in the lead is a very big thing in games like this. If you know you're in the lead, then you can take less risks, run around, and just make sure that you feel the times. Now, that mega armor... Going again, but still, Sinity, very close, will be there to hear it. Full stack now from Foxy Lady, and has been pretty much for the last two minutes, I think, actually. So this will be interesting. Unable to deny very many weapons, but... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if Sinity can pull this back at all, actually. The control of the armors and the items is just so heavy here as another frag comes out. That was a very nice flick shot and that was incredibly skilled, curving that rocket round the corner to finish off. Sinity now, pretty much just scared to go anywhere. The mortar and Foxy Lady just putting something right in there in every position. Incredible aim. Incredible positioning, incredible timing as well. Sometimes it does help your timing when you know you've got the lead, as we've said before, and when you know you can out-aim someone uh, and you have the feel for your aim. When you know you've got that, you can sort of put the aim to the back of your mind and you can keep that timing fresh and be able to just turn up perfectly, get the right position. Because a lot of the time, if you've got the better position, your aim can be a lot worse. And you can still come out on top. Clever use of the grenades. Making sure that Sinity can't even get close there. Sinity though back up the behind. Managing to finally get Foxy Lady below 100 health. 
For the first time in a few minutes, in fact. Bit of a mouse wiggle. Angry mouse wiggle there. With five minutes left, 12-0 in the lead. It's not looking good for Sinity right now. There's a dodgy jump through there and should be going down just now. There we go. That teleporter through there, you see it aligns on Otic maps, it seems. Teleporters linking very closely the two major items. This is a classic sort of arena FPS map. Major armor, major health. All the sorts of guns that you'd want. Health dotted around, little bits of 50 ar uh, 5 armors, 50 armor sitting down below. Everything you could possibly want from an arena FPS map. And although it looks very big when you first play it, it is actually pretty small. It's ridiculously small, in fact. Helped very much by that proof previously mentioned teleporter between the two major items. They're just next to each other. You could, if you wanted to, get the spawn from Mega and go and try and do some damage on the Mega Armor. And I do see it happen, actually, surprisingly often. I haven't been playing this game very long, but I have seen it happen a f quite a few times where someone will just pop off, get some damage in on the other major item, and then go for their major item with still the ability to get it. Very nice shotgun play coming out there to be able to do a bit more damage. Angry mouse wiggle. Rrr. Oh, incredible blaster play to get in close and taking the mega armor. It's going to put them in a major position here. Still massively in the lead, massively in the lead in frags and massively in the lead in terms of armor and stack. And it's really not looking good. Vicinity going down again there. It's a bit unfortunate. It has just been a pretty one-sided game. Would be interesting to see, perhaps on a map, since he knows a bit better. Maybe Foxy Lady knows a bit worse. But, that's what happens. Sometimes you get some maps like this. And they're still pretty interesting. Denying that 50 armor there, that's going to really put Sinity in a bad position if he wants to go and grab it. But, at the moment, I think Sinity's kind of given up here. 20 nil down with 2 minutes 25 left to go. You're not looking in the best of positions here. But it's not the worst. It's possible to at least get one frag, I'd say. If played correctly, played cleverly, take some position at the back. But Foxy Lady just isn't giving up any positioning. Any... anything, really. Absolutely. Sometimes you'll see at 20, they'll just someone will just start completely going off the wall and just battering. And that's where you get one or two kills when you're losing and you're able to pick yourself back up. But, yeah, doesn't seem to be happening on this one. That was an absolutely beautiful corner rocket there. Absolutely beautiful. One of my favourite parts. And one of my least favourite parts of Xenotic is that ability to direct rockets and explode it wherever you like. Complete control over the rockets. Uh, can be extremely annoying, of course, when you're just... Because you could theoretically win a game without ever seeing your opponent. Which would be interesting to see, I think. Oh, that was incredibly nice. Again, just really nice shots. Really nice play. Good positioning, good spam into these corners. What? sort of percentage you're looking at it's a very good rail percentage One there a lot of that grenades is just the fact that spamming corners very much lowers your uh, grenade percentage same with the rockets spamming rockets everywhere again beautifully positioned for a direct rocket getting right up in Sinity's face here and going in for some more frags we're on 24 to nil unfortunately I don't think it's going to happen. Sinity managed to pick up the red. Uh, oh, sorry, the Mega Armor. This could be a kill for Sinity right here. Oh, no, and it's not going to be, unfortunately. The best position for Sinity to actually get a final kill. Again, right down there on 11 health. But still, could probably end the game on that zero. But there we go. Finally, Sinity managed to get one on the board. Too little, too late. But it's one. 
And that's pretty damn good. I think it's probably better than I'd do. Might be on minuses. And there we go. It's GG 26 to 1. Foxy Lady takes it.